Manchester City could win the Premier League this evening without kicking a ball. They'll claim the title if Arsenal lose to Nottingham Forest. They're playing right now at the City ground and as it stands, Arsenal are 1-0 down, which means Nottingham Forest secure their Premier League status as it stands and Manchester City would win the league. Now, let's talk to our guest, Miles Danks, who's the host of the Football Diary podcast. Now, I'm trying to uh, focus on you, Miles, and not on the football, which I do have on the screen in front of me. What, what are we seeing here now? Is this Manchester City uh, storming the last second half of the season just unstoppable or is it Arsenal bottling it? It's got to be a combination of both, really. It's a shame to use the phrase bottom in it for Arsenal in what's been a really successful season for them all in all. And they'll definitely look back and be proud on the efforts, the development the squad has made is fantastic. And Mikel Arteta's got to be happy with the progress that his side have made. But when you're coming up against a team like Man City with endless riches and, and new resources like Erling Haaland in their side, it's, it's really difficult to compete at that sort of level. Yes, and we've seen them in the, in the um, Champions League as well with their, their win over Real Madrid midweek. They are really, they are, they are almost impossible to beat. Was it going to be an impossible task for Arsenal to try to stay level with them? I think so, when you consider the squad depth that Arsenal have. Although they started the season so strongly, it felt like momentum carried them through quite a lot. And then as soon as injury started happening for their squad, particularly in defence, when you think of Saliba's injury, that's really rocked them and their efforts. But you can't compete with a squad like Man City's, particularly with Guardiola leading it as well. But let's, of course, the credit due to Mikel Arteta and Arsenal because they haven't qualified for Champions League football for some time. They are definitely going to be in the Champions League next season. Should they look at it as a successful season overall? Yeah, absolutely. I think along with that, integrating some new signings into the side like Jesus and Zinchenko has been really key for them. The additions they made in January have really bolstered that squad. And it's a very young squad. It's not the only chance Arsenal will get at competing at this level. If you think of the likes of Bakayo Saka and Gabriel Martinelli and the progress they've made this season, along with Erdegaard taking the captain's armband, they have to be happy with a second-place finish. I don't think many Arsenal fans would have expected to find themselves in this position at the start of the season. There are, frustratingly, another four minutes of injury time still to go in that match, with Forest leading 1-0. Let's talk a bit about Nottingham Forest. They are, if things carry on going their way, they're going to secure Premier League status for another season. How much of a success is that for them? A huge success, and it has to come down to the fact that they trusted in their manager. Steve Cooper's done a phenomenal job with Nottingham Forest, and we've seen a lot of teams this season jump the gun a bit early, make the decisions at the wrong times, or maybe even too late, and it's cost them. Brendan Rodgers at Leicester, for example, lasted a while, and as soon as they've let him go, you wonder whether they would have been in a better position. But Forest, despite the, the upheaval in the summer, the, the numerous transfers, this is a great achievement for a team like Forest. So looking at the relegation battle, Southampton are out. Then there's, it's between Leicester, Leeds and Everton. I mean, depending on this result, which we'll have in about three minutes, mm. what do you think is going to happen? Well, Everton's point against Wolves today is huge. At this stage of the season, with a couple of games left, every point's really going to matter. And you start so, to wonder Miles whether... Stanks, I'm so sorry to interrupt you mid-flow, but we actually have to end for now. But we'll, uh, thank you very much for talking to us. No problem. Thanks for having me. You're watching BBC News.